Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Today we're having fun with relays. So what we've got is, in the middle, as always, we have our Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is powered using this lithium polymer battery and this regulator through a USB lead, which is actually one from a Kindle. I'm communicating with the Pi via Wi-Fi and controlling it with this Nexus 7 tablet using SSH through a little app called ConnectBot. Down here we've got all the electronic bits on a breadboard which are all the connections for a temperature sensor and a light sensor and in this plug socket which I've modified I've got a piece of strip board which has got two relays connected to it and a, a long white wire which you can see goes from here all the way around and into the plug socket. Those are the control wires, that's a piece of four wire telephone cable and I've got four connections, two are on GPIO ports and two are powering the relays with five volts which also ultimately comes from this battery but it's coming in from the breadboard. The relays in this specially modified plug socket are triggering a fan and a lamp and there's a lead there that plugs the plug socket into mains electricity. We're actually switching mains electricity using relays connected to the Raspberry Pi. Those two big black things, the relays and the chip you can see is a Darlington array which handles the switching of the relays and in order to trigger those relays we're using sensors so when it gets hot and the temperature sensor says it's above 23 degrees it puts the fan on which is exactly what you want I've done this so that I can have automatic cooling in summer and the light sensor when it gets dark beyond, below a particular level then it'll switch on the light so here's the breadboard with all the electronic bits on. This is where it takes power from the regulator and there's a common earth to the Pi. Here you've got a 3v3 circuit from the Pi which powers the analog to digital converter and the sensors. This is the temperature sensor, it's a TMP36. Here we've got the light sensor which is a, an ordinary light dependent resistor and that is also powered by the 3V3 lines from the Pi. Here we've got an extra, extra temperature sensor which isn't used in this particular application. Over here you've got the power for the relays on these two wires and these two are the relay control wires which are directly linked to two GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi. Here you've got a little piezo buzzer and here you've got an LED. Both of those are pulsed to give a warning when one of the relays is about to trigger and the pulsing is different for both. So now I'm going to hit it with a hairdryer to jack up the temperature and see what happens. And there should be some sound effects too, which is something I haven't mentioned yet. Let's have the fan on. using Pygame to play some mp3 files to get the sound effects which I've recorded. Don't need the fan on anymore. So now let's block out the light and see what happens. It's dark. Let's have some light. Don't need that light on anymore. Obviously I've got some speakers hooked up but they're out of shot at the moment. There's one more sound effect which I hope you'll find amusing which happens when you shut down the program. So destruct in T minus three seconds. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.